In this video, we will see how can we create candlestick chart with historical data for any given symbol using the finance API and here we are using Yahoo Finance particularly. So let's get started with VS Code. So I'm opening my VS Code here. You can use any other editor of your choice. And the very first thing I will do is I will go ahead and get into my virtual environment which I have already created over here. So let's go scripts and then activate batch. So now you can see that I'm inside my virtual environment. Next thing I need to do is I need to go and create a new file requirements txt. So this is the file which is going to hold all the dependencies and packages for me. So one I need is pandas, then I need is yahoo finance which is via finance and we need plot a. So these three are the ones which we need. I will quickly save it and then I will go ahead and install all these. So installation is done. Let's go ahead and create a new Python file and name it as stock analysis.py. So the very first thing we need to do here is, okay, before we get into the code, for those who are not aware what the candlestick chart is, so this is a chart you may have seen multiple times while dealing with the dashboard, particularly with stocks. And this is one of the heavily used charts for by the traders at as it provides uh, price movement based on the past pattern so a single candle will have open close high and low as the four points which you can see and it helps you to analyze and look at where your stock is going okay so with that description let's go ahead and import all the required libraries import pandas then we need import plotly and here we will have graph objects and let's say pl and then i will say import yahoo finance so we are done with our imports next thing is we need to grab the data so for that let's create a variable name stock and yahoo finance dot we can say tickle so inside ticker you need to pass which symbol you want so let's go with the tesla and here I'm going to create a variable name df which is which is the data frame for us and here we'll say history which is uh, which is the method and it takes parameter like for which duration you want the data so either you can pass max otherwise you can also provide like 100 days or how many days you want so I'm going with 100 days I don't want so much of data and then we need to push it into the csv so before pushing into the csv i can quickly show you how this data looks like run this application oops so okay i need to say yahoo finance and you can see that now we have so many columns date open high low close volume dividends and stock split so these are the various columns which we need and we are interested mainly in these initial four columns open high low close with and the respective date and you can see that it fetched the data till 17th march which is the most recent one okay so next thing we need to do is we need to go and push this data into our csv files so for that we can call the function to csv and inside that i will provide some name tesla data and we'll give extension as csv okay so if i will run it i should be able to see a csv file created on my left hand side okay so here is the data and you can see that everything is pushed into this particular file perfect now next thing we need to do is we need to draw the chart so before drawing the chart let's pull the csv data back so we will use pandas and we'll say read csv so inside that okay. 
so this will read the data back from the csv and then we can create our variable name candlestick and here we will use the plotly so plotly has candles tick function which will take many parameters so first parameter is x-axis so i want date to be on my x-axis to make sure that you are giving the correct case so all the initial letters are in capital so okay so date and then i need to define all the parameters so let's go ahead and say low oops then I will say hi then I can say close and the last one is open so these are the parameters which we need to supply then we will create a figure so you can give any variable i will give fake and we'll say fake and here we need to call figure which will take parameter as the one which we just created above so let me quickly grab this okay so we are almost done let me make a call so that we can have a look how candles look save it and execute it oops so it is saying pl pd is not oops so here again i did a mistake so i need to define the alias so it is launching a browser and here you should be able to see a chart let's give it few seconds although i took very less data it's gonna take some seconds you can see that our candles are here so few are green few are red and you can hover over any of these candles and you should be able to see the date and the respective parameters like open high low and close so even you can use this bottom panel to reduce your like what date range you want so let's say you are interested only in this much date range so you can see the data only about this particular date range you can reduce it you can increase it all these things you can do so i hope you enjoyed watching this short video and do let me know how was it and will get back to you with another api to draw the same candle chart in my next video thanks for watching